So guys, for the first step, once you find the Windows Apps folder, you want to right click on it and then click on Properties and then click on Security and then click on Advanced. And now this will come up. And now once you're on this, you want to click on Change. And now in this box right here, you want to type in Everyone. And now once you type in Everyone, you now want to click on Check Names, which is now going to underline Everyone and then click on OK. And now once this comes up, where it says Replace Owner on Subcontainers and Objects, you want to tick this. And now once you've done that, you now want to click on Apply. Wait for this to load. And then once this comes up, you want to click on OK. Now you want to click on OK again. And then click on OK again. And now for the next step, you want to right click on Windows Apps again. And then click on Properties. Now you want to click on Security. And then click on Advanced. Now once this comes up again, you now want to click on Add. And now this will come up. And then once you're on this, you want to click on Select a Principle. And now in this box right here, you want to type in Everyone. So type in Everyone again, and then click on Check Names, which is now going to underline it, and then click on OK. Now you want to select Full Control. You want to tick Full Control, which will now select everything here. Now you want to click on OK. And then click on OK again. Wait for this to load. And then once this loads up, you want to click on OK again. It should now let you delete the folder, so you're going to right click on it, and then click on Delete. You can now delete the folder. However, just in case if you could not delete the folder, for the next method, you want to right click on Windows Apps, and then click on Properties, and then click on Security, and then Enhanced. Now you want to click on Enable Inheritance, and then click on OK. Wait for this to load, and then once this loads up, you want to click on OK again. We can now delete the folder. Continue. Which will now delete the folder. That's how you do it.